Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here with a toy news update of things that some of my followers might be interested in. I'm pretty sure you've seen this all over Facebook, the internet, any Transformers fan page by now. Um, but I thought I'd at least talk about it and give my thoughts on the matter. And I'm probably, I got a couple of videos for this, so some other stuff came out today as well. First talking about Takara, uh, new Masterpiece figures are coming out. And they have a new Beast Wars Megatron, which looks Pretty good. It's just a gray uh, prototype they've made. I'll, I'll put pictures in this video somewhere around me, over me, hiding this mug, something. But um, I come out with a Beast Wars Megatron, and he is a big fella. He's bigger than Dinobot, and he looks good. It's just a gray model prototype. Um, I, I like Beast Wars. It's probably my, my second favorite Transformers series. Uh, I'm just not big into collecting. I have to limit my collection based on how much money I have and income and then space provided and Beast Wars is not on my top list to buy. They're nice to have and look at. You know, I got the complete series on DVD and that's probably about as far as I've gone. I do have a few figures. I sold all my old Beast Wars ones. I bought, uh, I think I got Rat Trap and Waspinator and they re-released them in the, I think the 30 anniversary series. But um, I sold Rhinox because he was way too loose and I just didn't like it. But I'm on a rambling rant there or whatever. Um, back on topic, uh, he looks good. I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna be really expensive. I say you know, between 250 and 300, just based on Dinobot's cost and that's how big he is. Uh, he could be cheaper than 250, but I'm gonna say around 250 is probably his price point um, from that. Uh, moving on to other masterpiece news, G1. They are doing some more plus masterpiece figures. Now they started that off and we got. Uh, who was the first one that came out? Plus, was it Red Alert? We got Red, Red Alert Plus. We got a Side Spike Plus. We got a Prowl Plus coming. And I, I did buy the Red, Red Alert Plus because uh, I like the color scheme and it was a little more tune accurate. Um, I have not bothered with the Side Spike Plus because the changes are very minimal and I think it looks fine as is. There's not much difference to me to warrant to sell this figure to buy a new figure. Um, and we got Prowl coming, and there's, again, I'm unsure if I'd even, you know, try to change up the Prowl I have. I think Prowl came out first. It is good enough. But they're going to redo this guy here. Bring him up. Megatron. Um, and instead of going, like, tune accurate, they're going more toy accurate. And they're still not fully toy accurate. But they have his barrel in the back coming through his waist. I'm pretty sure you can do it now as is. Uh, I'm not going to fiddle with him to find out. But they're changing his head sculpt where he's got a tune head. And I think one of the knockoff companies, I don't know which one it was, there's so many now that make have made, redone this figure in oversized, added stuff. Um, at least some, they put one of those uh, more toy accurate faces on him. And it looked pretty dang good. And I think another one actually gave him the pistol uh, pistol <laughs> crotch. I don't know what came out. The trigger crotch, you know. Cool. Um, so... Whereas this is more tune accurate, which I like, I prefer. Um, the other one's cool for toy collectors to have. But, you know, he's going to, his has not popped up yet on pre-order sites that I've seen um, as of me recording this video anyway. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be a hefty price because this one costs already, what, about 250 I don't remember now, 260 uh, So I'm going to say between that and $300 just based on this guy here. Megatron down, they're coming out with another Laser Wave, Shock Wave, um, Plus. And he's going to be the darker purple everybody freaking wanted when this one came out. And most people who already had like a Quake Wave or what's the other one called? Quake Blast. I know they came in, they reissued their fan stories, they reissued all theirs. A little dusty, man. Um, and uh, people probably already had the, the kind they wanted anyway. Now I think fan stories released a cartoon colored one as well when this was coming up before this came out and while the color on him honestly is not bad in person as it is in pictures I would prefer a darker purple and you know, the actual figure was dark purple the cartoon he was not as dark as the actual toy was but he was still a darker purple and this is a very I say a dark lavender it's not like bright you know it's not like you know, lavender lavender but it's, it's a little bit darker and 
Well, I think he looks good. I think the new purple looks a lot better. But that new Shockwave Plus is two hundred and like ten dollars. No, thank you. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for this. I think probably around one fifty, one sixty. Uh, why, why do I pay forty more dollars to get the same figure just in a different paint deco or plastic? It might not be painted. Um, and somebody it must have LED lights. I don't know about this one because I haven't filled with them since I got them. Um, I think I transformed them once, and that's been it. Uh, Maybe they're getting rid of the light piping back here. Well, he's light pipe. And maybe they're going to put this as LED light. That might add some of the cost to them. Um, but honestly, I'd say I'm just going to stick with this one unless I fall into some money. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, but if I did, then I maybe perhaps I'll go, I'll go down that road. I also got a new MP of this guy, Sunstreaker. And it's going to be based on the Diaclone Police cruiser and his name would be Cordon. And I think this is like you know so that's gonna be he's gonna be white with a more toy accurate head sculpt to where he sort of looks more like a spin out I think head look if I can track all but it's more toy accurate in his head. Um he's, he's white with the police bars and light bars on his chest. So I'm pretty sure they're still faking the chest out. And they're gonna have a light bar on this chest somehow. And also on the actual um, rooftop. I'm just you know guessing there. And well, this right here where it has all this. Remember how bad cubes and stuff had like a lot more detail in it. And it appears that this cordon has more detail in his stuff as well. And it, like I said, more toy actor head. And he's gonna be based on the Diaclone police car version of Stun Streaker. So why I enjoy looking at Diaclones, um, he's gonna cost the same by same amount, 160. Did this guy costs or 130. I have to look at the price again, but to me, uh, I just because I'm not big on die clones, I'm not going to show that kind of money. Yeah, some paint chips going on there, uh, but um, I'm not really going to be you know, like I said, digging into those die clones. But it is nice for the people who enjoy the die clone line beforehand, and I like to get mastery style versions of the die clone clones. So that's pretty much all I got in this video. Is just some updates on some masterpiece pluses coming out. And a new masterpiece figure version of a Sunstreaker, which it has Cordon, and he's the police cruiser based on the Diaclone. Uh, like I said, the Megatron, I think it looks kind of cool. I like that different head. If I could just buy that head, but it can just attach to this one and fit in, and you can change them out every now and then. It appears all you really have to do is like the biggest difference from that to this. Um, Shockwave, I enjoy the new purple more. I'm not going to shell out you know, 40 more or whatever dollars for that when I have this one. Um, I, if I wanted to get a darker color, I'd probably just go off and buy uh, Fans Toys Quake Wave if it was you know, reasonably priced still. Um, I'm not going to, you know, like I said, let's not fall into some kind of money somehow or, you know, a money tree grows out in my backyard or, you know, I can hurt myself in a store or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have money. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't, I don't like double dipping if I don't have to. I, sometimes I wish I could for certain aspects and have a vehicle mode and a robot mode, but no. Nah. And, that's pretty much all I'm going to say in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, and uh, please click the like button if you like the video. Anyway, subscribe. Help me out. And get back into the help the small YouTubers out. Uh, you know, they change the monetization. You have to have a thousand subscribers. Now, I was monetized. Like I said, I wasn't making very much money anyway. I haven't got a check from Google. Or I can call. Yeah, I might got one last year. Based on last year, but I didn't get one so far this year, and I made I don't make very much per video, so it's not like you know you watching this. I'm making money or anything. I'm not. <laughs> they change all that. Just help out small YouTubers. Give us the subscribes. Click that bell so you get all the updates from every video we put out, and just you know keep following small YouTubers to help us out because some of us are better than the big YouTubers. I'm not saying I am because you know. I'm just saying some are. I can you know, give good reviews on a lot of people I follow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next one, peace out.